Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory and the hard drive from this uh, HP all-in-one computer. Ok, I'm not going to do a speed comparison between the hard drive and the SSD itself. I've just shown you in high speed video how fast uh, Windows uh, starts up after a shutdown, Windows 10. And let me just uh, power on a few apps so you can get a visual feel on how this thing works. This is my computer. Took a little bit of time. Uh, let's see Word. Okay. A new document. Yeah. It is taking its time. So it's not painfully slow, but it is slow. Google, Chrome. It is slow, it is annoying. You can use it, but it is annoying. Ok, let me show you the specs of this thing. At the moment it has a 240GB hard drive and 4GB of memory. Let me just zoom on it. So we are going to upgrade this 4GB of memory to 8GB. And we will uh, replace the hard drive with an SSD. Let me zoom out. And show you the memory that will be going in. This is the memory. It already has 4 gigabytes, about the same as this. And this is the SSD. It's brand new. About $45. And please believe me, the SSD is the best possible upgrade for any computer these days. If you have a, a computer that does not, not have an SSD in, put an SSD at least for the drive with your Windows install and programs. If you play games, for your games also an SSD. It makes a huge difference. Your computer will feel much, 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 much more responsive. Even a really old computer with an SSD is way faster. Not in processing power, but in loading apps, in, in overall snappiness of the system. So yeah. Okay. Uh, at this point, let me try and move the camera a little bit. And uh, yeah. I'm guessing uh, cut this thing out. I honestly don't see any way of getting inside of this thing without uh, cutting. So yep. If that's what it takes, that's what we will do. I might have actually been wrong about this one. Yep. Oopsie. It may have worked without cutting. This particular uh, Kingston, the A300, is it? A400, sorry. It's a decently fast SSD and it is really, really, really cheap. $45 once again. Something like that. That's good. 120 gigs. So, uh, next thing, I'm going to boot this thing off a USB drive and use a cloning software. And let me just show you. I have this thing. 
that I will attach to the USB insert it into a USB port and clone the hard drive from that thing directly to this so when I put this in place of the hard drive my computer will start uh, work as uh, usually I will also link a video in the description of this one where uh, I show you how to clone uh, uh, your uh, operating system onto your new hard drive with this method or by using an external hard drive so with an intermediary hard drive that's easier in some cases for some people so let's get to it And the cloning process is finished. Remove the adapter. <laughs> this is really light. It's always weird to take something in your hand that is the shape of a hard drive and uh, this light. Okay, let's put them aside. Get everything out of the way. Actually unplug this. Remove the power cord, put this on its uh, face, maybe onto something that doesn't scratch it. On. And at least this model has uh, two, how do you call them? to screws it was hard to find the word on the side here it has a kind of a ledge that you need to push on and it should slowly start to to open up At this point you might notice that I don't have the original hard drive caddy. I bought this thing uh, originally broken. I fixed it twice. Once the memory was bad, second the BIOS was corrupted. So my hard drive is a laptop hard drive instead of a normal desktop hard drive held in place with double sided tape. So in your situation you probably undo the caddy, undo the screws of the hard drive and I'm not sure if it has mounting holes for something as small as this thing or you need to use double sided tape on the SSD itself. 
I do not know about those holes because I don't have the caddy. In my situation, for sure we will go for a double sided tape once again. But first thing I need to peel this off, which will take some time because the double sided tape that I used is really strong. If you are ever wondering how strong double sided tape really is, at least the more expensive and high quality one, well it's this strong. I barely took it off. And now I still need to get rid of it from this hard drive and put some uh, on the SSD, but way, 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 way less. So let's continue. Double sided tape ready, as you can see I've put way 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 less because the hard drive has uh, hard drive SSD has no moving parts so it just needs to hold uh, its own weight and that is way plenty. And it's in place. Okay. As for the memory, like you would do in a laptop, just let me zoom on this slot so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so for the memory, just uh, press it in. Hopefully, you can actually see what I'm doing. This is uh, rather unused, the top slot, so it will enter a little bit harder. When it's in place, just push it down and it will clip in place. And that's about it. Now just uh, close this thing up. Put back the screws and we should be good to go. We are all plugged in and we should be running on SSD power and 8 gigabytes of memory. Okay. Until now it was way, way, way faster. Yeah. 
and we are in. I'm not going to even let it uh, load the antivirus and stuff. Let's poke around. Okay, as you can see, stuff is loading way, way faster. And I didn't even let it finish what it was doing. I, I started poking around the second it was on. Let's try Google Chrome. It's on. So, zero comparison. That it, there is no... Impossible to compare this uh, a standard laptop hard drive to an SSD. This is way, way, way faster. And we can see here. If the camera would actually zoom, uh, focus, sorry, 80 gigs of RAM. Let's zoom out. I think this quicks like uh, mad. Should get a new tripod. And we have here C partition and the backup partition. And that is awesome. We are running on SSD power. Perfect. So this has been it guys for this video. I really recommend you to, to upgrade to an SSD and if you can add a little bit more uh, memory and you should have no problems with uh, this computer for a while. And yeah, that's about it. So please like the video, subscribe, check out my other, vid uh, other videos, cannot really talk today, and see you in the next one. Bye!